Next game here, December 18th, 1.15 p.m. Central Time. We have got the New Mexico Bowl, and that would be the PUBG Mobile New Mexico Bowl. Fresno State and UTEP. Fresno State an 11.5-point favorite currently. Uh, Odds brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins, of course. This is another one that has a gift suite. Blah, blah, blah. I hate the gift suites. Uh, But alas, uh, a lot of these, uh, the smaller bowls tend to have those. Jay Kaner is going to play. Lee Marks is the interim coach, but Jeff Tedford will be the head coach next year. This is, UTEP is not a great team. Like, they just haven't. They have not beaten a single team that is power ranked above number 105. And power ranking, Fresno is in the 50s. Fresno is a good football team. They've actually got a pretty damn good defense, surprisingly. And with Jake Hayner flinging the ball, like I think they're going to be able to have kind of whatever success they want on UTEP. Uh, I don't see UTEP being able to get pressure on him. I, I just, I, I, this looks like a runaway. I'm going to take Fresno minus 11 and a half. I mean, it's, I, I will tell you this. The Miners will have the, the home field advantage here. El Paso, not that far away from where this bowl is being played in, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I, I think, like, the fan advantage, the crowd advantage, will be with UTEP, but uh, but Fresno is just significantly better, man. I'm I'm rolling with the uh, the Bulldogs. So this is this is where I get frustrated. When the Bulldogs started off this season like six and one, the first thing I thought of was, man, I can't wait to bet against them in a bowl game <laughs> because that six and one season is so fraudulent. It is so just back loaded or front loaded with just garbage. And I, this team is not very good at football. And then I saw who they were playing. And I saw the number and I thought, man, shit. <laughs> because I, I think there's a world where this Fresno team is, they're, they're everything you can't trust right now. All right? Does anybody trust their give a damn at all with the chaos that's going on? Quarterback opted out, now coming back because he wasn't allowed to transfer. And then, you know, now trying to play. A lot of the fans had a lot of horrible shit to say about him before he decided to come back. Now there's, like, weird feelings in the locker room. Like, it's it's everything you want to bet. Both of these teams are teams I want to bet against. And they're playing one another. And I hate them. So yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll take the minors, even though I think they're a, a, a bad football team. Keep this thing close. Because I do think they are going to have a ton of fans coming out for this game, and a lot of give a damn. So uh, looking for their first bowl win in since New Mexico. yeah, first bowl win since nineteen sixty seven is what they're looking for. So uh, yeah. very. So I think it, I think it actually matters to them. We talk about give a damn. This is a game that one hundred percent is a business trip for them. They are not going out partying, and drinking, and celebrating, and making a bowl game. They are going to work. Yes. Yes. I'm with you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.